Back to the alley where the whole mess had started. Something told me there was more to find than the sewer. The most, most the mask itself could wait until later. As the train made its way there, images and thoughts from that night engulfed me. I started to feel queasy. Uh, you know, if the cops figure out you took the mask, they're gonna look there first, right? When my stop approached, the pet in my gut changed from fear to something else. I realised I'd had enough of other people tell me what to feel or how to act. I didn't know what to expect, but I knew that the only one who could give me a sense of closure was myself. Any sense of closure. Did we play with the cat? I don't think we did. Uh, I should really make sure my sanity stays okay. This police tape is all that's left of the department's investigation. They're more focused on writing me off as insane than finding answers in that sewer. Uh, they're not trying to write you off as insane, uh, they're just wanting to figure out what happened and they're just dumping on you. Uh, maybe I should check in with everyone I talked to that night first. Not sure if I could bring myself to go in there right away. No! No, you're being an idiot! Let's check on the kid if he's still here. Oh, hey, it's that detective from the other night. I wonder if she remembers me. That detective's right here and can hear you. She's standing right next to you, Kobayashi. What? How did you know my name? <sighs> it's written on your name tag, kid. Whoa, right on, right on. I guess you gotta be pretty smart to be a detective. Well, I, like, did think I'd see you in the flesh again after the other night. You're over the news. Didn't know if you were that. I mean, didn't know if you were that. Yeah, kid, I had a rough idea. You still doing, um, actually, what exactly is it that you do? Uh, you know. I clean and do stuff. Sometimes here, sometimes over there. All over the place, really. It's pretty rad. Oh yeah, can I, like, have that dumpster key back? Someone locked it back up, so I haven't emptied it. And the boss is starting to get suspicious. Oh, I don't have it on me, sorry. Seriously? Oh man. Well, thanks anyway, man. Woman. Miss. <laughs> What's that? Oh my god, there's collectibles in this game. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, good detective skills I got, eh? A smell of rotting meat, a phone ringing over and over. Reina, did all that really happen? Okay, uh, this way. Let's check in with the bartender guy, shall we? Oh, hello, detective. I, uh, heard about what happened that night after the other police and reporters showed up. I'm really sorry to hear about your partner. I can't even imagine what it's like to lose someone like that. Thanks. Diesel, right? Yep, that's me. I'm surprised you remembered that, detective. Not E for detective. I'm not on duty. I am E's fine. How are things? Did that night hurt your business too? In all honesty, business wasn't really better or worse because of it. If anything, I got a little uptick when the reporters were here. But eventually they left too, just like everyone else. It was always my dream to cook and start a restaurant, but it's been a constant uphill struggle. What's the point? I know it might not, not, might not mean much coming from me, but I believe you should start, start stick it out to the end, no matter what. A lot of it comes down to attitude, right? If you stay down in the dumps, people will taste that emotion in the food. That's something no amount of alcohol can mask. Yeah, I guess. I've been beating myself up, self up for a few weeks now. Maybe that's not helping, huh? I mean, I'm still competing with scumbags around here, but I'll try and keep my head above the water for now. Thanks, Detective. Or, Ayami. Stop by again any time. Drinks on the house. 
Thanks, Diesel. Maybe I'll take you up on that one day. Oh boy, free drinks. I'm never drinking, I. <laughs> well, you know, never say never. There might come a time where I do, but if I do, then that'll be for probably bad reasons. Okay, let's enter here, I guess, huh? You again? Hey, take it, take it easy. I saw what you did to go to at the bar the other night. I don't want any trouble. You can relax. I'm off duty. Besides, you know as well as I do, that guy was a scumbag. Making him wet his pants was the only way of getting anything useful out of him. Ha! Huh, can't exactly, exactly argue with that. But scum or not, he's a big earner. You could have been a bit more gentle. Sorry. It's fine. I'm sure he'll be back eventually. Whether I want him to be or not. Anyway, I, uh... Heard on the news about what happened to you and your partner that night. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. She has compassion. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't figure you'd care much about what happened to a cop, all things considered. Considering what? My job? It's true. Police come in here all the time and act like gods. They order drinks, threaten me, and fuel me up thinking I don't care. My boss tells me to ignore it, since happy cops are good for business. Honestly, they're worse than the customers that they're supposed to protect us from. So yeah, all things considered, I don't love the police, but that doesn't make me a robot. Nobody deserves to die alone. True. If you told your buddies at the station that something terrible like that happened to me, some, no some nobody hostess, do you think they'd give shit? I wish I could say you're wrong, but years in the forest have taught me that being a police officer doesn't mean you make you a better person. Usually it throws you in the shit, man. A lot of people lose sight of what it is to be human just because some government official gave them a badge. How long have you been doing this job? Not long. Only about two years, in four different shops. They all promise the same thing, better pay and customers that will treat you with respect. I'm still waiting on both those things. Business has, has been in the pits lately, and I've gotten some officers, officers' offers that might pay better, but... But? But they're at clubs with more of an adult vibe. They said I wouldn't have to do anything weird, but I don't know. No, don't trust that. I've heard rumours about what can happen to some of the girls in those places. Country girl like me doesn't exactly have a whole lot of job prospects, and it'd be good, mon good money. This one's easy. Don't do it. But, have you heard the phrase, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it? Oh, damn. Uh, no, not really. Well, take it from me. No one's going, going out of their way to help you, but that doesn't mean you can't help yourself. Indeed. Just think it over, over before you say yes to that offer, okay? To think I'd be getting advice from a cop. Alright, I'll think about it. You got a name? Yeah, it's Mayhill. Myhill. Don't tell anyone, though. The bosses don't like it when customers know our real names. Between us girls, I've wanted to slam go to a, to a wall for months. See you around, detective. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Uh, thank you to whoever that was. I think someone followed. Yeah. Uh. Okay, next. Sorry if it's lagging. Oh, it's because previous someone turn preview off. Oh my god. Sorry. Cat. Nanny? We don't have cat yet. We can't go home yet. Eh, uh, okay. It's now or never. No more excuses. I need to have a look around and find out what really happened that night. Alright, we're going in. Interesting, huh?
Uh, no, none of that language, please. Just saying. I know I swear, but I don't say those words. The air still feels heavy. As heavy as the stale... And still, as it did the night I came in here looking for Kazuki. Doesn't look like much has changed since then. I'm not sure why I expected anything different. Even if it turns out to be nothing, I should have a look around and see what I can find. I've already come this far anyway. The bottom of the well is hidden darkness. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, let's climb down. Darkness. Seems to be the... It seems in the course of investigating the crime scene, a rope was brought in to get down. Wish I'd thought of that. Uh, that might break. That looks kind of old, no offense. It looks like it could break. Please be careful. We're going down, right? Deep into the rabbit hole we go. Maybe it was a mistake come here. Is that writing on the walls? All that's left for me here is a hor is horrible memories. Or horrible memories. But I saw Rain uh, Raina. A girl who couldn't possibly be alive in this tunnel. I'm sure of it. You can warn the others didn't see what I saw. I have to keep going. There's more to this. Why is there a lot of writing on the walls? Uh, they're leading more to it. More paint? The reports on that night never mentioned this. Could they have missed something so obvious? Nope, nope, this has changed. There's another hatch going further into the sewer. I don't remember this being here. It's possible Rena really escaped through it on, on that night. I don't remember seeing that. Maybe I wasn't so far off the mark after all. I didn't see that. If you now use this hatch, it, I might be able to find some proof to take your camera and put his doubts to rest once and for all. I better hurry up. Uh, we'd be arrested if we put this information to him because they know we broke in and stole a mask. I'm hearing voices. Maybe this one first? I can't push that one. The hell? That's not possible. Calm down. The lights are flashing in some sort of order. These might be something to us. Yeah, I'm trying, lady. Give me a sec. Are you kidding? Oh, come on. We're not really losing much, but still. Three. One. Right. One. Wait, how many times does it flash? Then this one. I'm not seeing something obvious, right? If you see it, feel free to share, but... Yeah. Are they all on there? I did it! I did it! I did it! Holy crap, I did it! I actually did that? Okay. I know she has a twin! Rena? What is this doing here? Why would you leave this behind? Was it a twin?
The door seems stuck. I'll have to pry it open. But I head back to the surface to see if I can find a crowbar or something. Oh shit, you're kidding, right? Sorry for swearing. I could use one of the sewer grate bar thingies, I guess. I guess that could work. I need to pause, I need to pause. I will be right back. What's that noise? Shit, the hatch is closed, I'm trapped. What? This isn't good. I have to get out of here. Don't panic, Eddie. Yet your sanity's gonna go down. Well, this way, I guess. We're gonna run into something scary. Oh shit, someone's face is showing up, isn't it? It's not real, it's not real, it's not real. It's just, uh, it's an episode. Like the doctor said. It's not real, Kazuki said it wasn't real. Come on. Just stay calm, right? Maybe if I just stay still then? I'm quite slow. Oh, shit. This is real, this is real. I know this is real. I can't open this door. I'm not allowed to do it. Kazuki? Somehow. Somehow I knew I'd find you if I came down here. Wait, don't go, please. Don't leave me again. Did we get kidnapped or something? Did we get captured? I don't know what's going on anymore, huh? Oh no. Are we okay? We seem to be breathing. Are we- was that a dream? Mask? Pills? What should we do? Who do you think brought us back here? I'm just saying, okay, like, uh, how did we get back home? We fell and woke up in a room. Our room, I'm assuming? So what exactly happened? And the screen's black, it's not doing shit. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. But where am I? I don't know, I was in a tunnel and all... It was all so real. It had to be real. Why am I still dreaming? I can't remember getting home. Why can't I remember? What did I do? After the police station, I went to Shinjuku, right? Or did I? Oh no. It's all bleeding together. I need to rest. Nope, it was real. 1996? Huh? What's this? What year is it? A photo from the tunnel? Impossible. That can't be. It was a nightmare, a delusion. It wasn't real. I must have picked it up in the station, but no. I never seen this before. Why can't I remember? Oh no. Could it have been real? If it was, then that means Kazuki really is out there somewhere, just like Reina was. Why this photo? Some sort of stage performance? At any rate, there's no doubt about it. That's Rain, all right. Maybe someone will recognize her? My mind is racing. I need to take a moment to get any of- to get my thoughts together before I do anything rash. I need to uh, take my pill, you know? I need to take the pill out. Won't let me off. Hello again, Lady Fluff. We should feed her. There you are again. Sleeping away like nothing's wrong. Are you sure it's not dead? I wish I could be like you. Ignore everything that's happening and rest. But I can't. It feels like the world's peeling away in front of me and I'm sleep I'm seeing it for the first time. And in that world I saw Kazuki. I don't know how, but I did, little one. 
The only one who can bring him back. Yumi, what are you doing in here? Do you know how early it is? What do you mean? I'm here all the time, Ayumi. Besides, the door was unlocked. Um, yeah, I must not have locked it. That's silly of me. She listened in. Yeah, that was very silly. I can hear you so clearly from down there. I knew you were in, but last night I didn't hear anything at all. Isn't that weird? Where were you? Nowhere. I think I went to sleep. Yeah, I must have gone to sleep. Once. You didn't hear me as all. Well. Nothing to freak about. Out about. Then what about the picture? Oh boy, another earthquake. That was another big one, wasn't it? They've been more frequent lately, huh? Sorry I interrupted you, Ami-chan. What did you say about a picture? Wait, what did you just call me? Huh? What do you mean? Say, you look a little pale. Neighbor, you should look after yourself more. Don't worry, I'll check up on- and I'll check in on you from time to time. Make sure everything is nice and normal around here. Huh? I'm fine. It's just stress. I, uh, I should get going. Thanks for checking in. Oh, don't mention it. After all, you're my latest... Hmm, how should I put it? You're my latest hobby, Ayami-chan. The pills that the doctor gave me are right on the table where Kazuki left them. Count him to pass me about my health even when he's gone. I don't like these pills. But I'll keep taking them for your sake. I'm not taking another one, that's stupid. Can I not just rest? Also, is there any of those cat things around here? Seems not, huh? And once again, we're leaving! Wait, I can actually go places? The center of all investigations in the city. The Tokyo Metropolitan Police Headquarters. My office is in a nearby building. As I'm not an active duty, I won't have access to the main building. But it may be useful to check in with Saki if I need something. Shinjuku concerned the commercial heart of Tokyo's metropolis, as well as its seedy underbelly. Seedy underbelly. It's also the location of that quiet back alley where I could chase Kazuki. It's where I chase Kazuki, and where my life almost fell apart. We should go back there anyway, just to check with that door again, huh? It's quite laggy, oh boy. It's not that late in the day, is it? It seems to be like noon. I don't know. It won't let me look at it. Why is it not letting me? Well, I can't look at it then. Hey, what you doing? I thought you guys only worked at night, like you were uh, nocturnals or whatever. Oh boy, I'm probably going to regret this, but have you seen this girl? I, I think Saki would know better. Whoa, that's some creepy stuff. Did you, like, mark all over her face for revenge? Man, that's pretty messed up. Yeah, I didn't. Li I didn't. Listen, I'm not sure e what exactly I expected, but I shouldn't have bothered you, so I'll get going. Whoa, 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 like, slow down, detective. What you've got there is a genuine pop idol performance photo there. Wait, you know something? I mean, you know about this picture? Yep. 
So, what is it? Well, based on the lighting and outfits, it looks like they're, they're it's pretty ancient. I mean, like, it might be over 10 years old now. <sighs> if 10 years is ancient, I'm not going to ask how old you think I am. Anyway, what else can you tell me about this photo? Oh, yeah, I'd recognize that stage anywhere. It's in this cozy little spot in Nakihavra. The little lady was probably, like, based there or whatever. This one time, me and my girlfriend were at a concert there, and I think she had the hots for me, so. Okay, okay, I get the picture. Akihabara, huh? Well, I gotta say it. I gotta say, kid, you really know your stuff. Yup, yup, people tell me that a lot. You know, like when, like, they think I'm pretty wisdomful. Oh, no, it's been fun chatting, but I better get back to work place would fall apart without me. We're going to Akihabara, okay. Too many. Too many. Akihabara is a mecca of geek culture with its numerous electronic stores, made cafes and arcades. Isn't it the main city, like the most popular city or something? But under its cute exterior, it also holds a dark underbelly of exploitation that isn't often talked about. Pop Talked about publis publicly. Let's travel. Okay, let's continue with our investigation. So far, uh, we have Rena's apparently a teenage girl, but she was in a, a band ten years ago. Yeah, the JK Cafe. <laughs> Joshi Koise, or JK for short. Why fantasize about a high school student when you can pay money to date them for real? Does anyone actually believe it's so all innocent? No. Cheap clone and the, a dumb muscle shirt aren't going to be enough to convince me this guy is tough. He might be. I know the other day I'd probably enjoy messing with a mouth breaker like this, but I doubt he, he'd know anything about pop idols or Reina. I should move on for now. We should ask someone who's really into their stuff. What's this? Inside there's a few salary men gathered around looking at pictures of high school girls posted up on a wall. I've got no interest in going inside a place like that unless I have to. Well, the two guys standing outside of the ramen shop look foreign. I can hear them speaking fluent sounding, fluent sounding Japanese. They're poring over what looks like a map of some... and some drawings. The elevator is at service. Every time the automatic doors open, the noise from the pachinko parlor and the smell of stale cigarettes smoke the saltier senses. It's a bar then? A club? I don't mean to be rude, but I couldn't help but notice all you. all the map. I know that you guys are passing back and forth. It seems kind of intense. No, no thank- Oh, sorry. Thought you were going to hand us a fil- A flyer. We ducked in here to escape a very persistent maid. You're not made of disguise, are you? Ha. <laughs> nope, I doubt I could summon the, the pet required to be a maid for ten minutes. Let alone all day. I was just curious about what you two were doing. Uncovering all the hidden secrets of Akihabara, of course. And you? Um, something kind of similar, actually. But you guys seem a lot more well versed in the area than I am. How far, far back do these side streets go, anyway? Oh boy, you don't even know the half of it. There's whole mazes of electronic stores, sell, stalls selling computer and radio parts. And about anything else you can imagine. We decided to map out the area. A bit of urban exploration. I'm sure it's not very original, but it's been a fun side project. Akihabara is a fascinating area, that's for sure. Urban exploration, huh? Sounds interesting. Most of my friends just sleep on their days off. Are you guys English teachers? 
Who, me? No, I'm a writer. Well, an inspiring writer. I've only gotten a few gigs. I'm a web developer in my day job. But it's projects like this that give me fuel for the creative fire. Who knows? Maybe you'll be reading something and find that find an anecdote about this conversation in it someday. I'm an artist, graphic designer on the side. Cody here commissioned me to come out here with them and make sketches as we explore the city for the book he's working on. Huh. I never would have guessed people would be doing things like that. What kind of books are you writing? What kind of book are you writing? Urban horror, oh boy. New in the war and the seemingly clean streets of Tokyo. I doubt you'd believe the things that go on in this city even if I told you. I wouldn't. It might surprise you how much I'm willing to believe. So have you been mapping out the street? Anything interesting about it? Interest might not be the word I'd use. I've been getting kind of a weird vibe around here. I mean, on the surface, it looks like any other side street in Akiba. It's got everything you'd expect. A smoky arcade, a maid cafe, a cat cafe, a couple of bookstores. Nothing usual there. Not for Akiba, anyway. So far, so good. We were almost ready to move on, but... Is that elevator over there? Yeah, sure, what about it? Looks normal, right? Well, looks can be deceiving. Yeah, we've got a little pet theory about it. Get this, we think. We think it eats people. You think the elevator eats people? We've been staking it out the last few days. Far as we can tell, it doesn't belong to any stores in that building. Get this, only let certain people in. And when they get in, we never see them come back. Back out, oh boy. Yeah, go ahead and try it, we have. So logically, it's either eating people or... Yeah, cause of vampires, oh boy. I've thought a lot about it. I'm pretty sure it might be a, be a thing, I mean, there's a ton of shady activity around here. Gee, soon. That might be the- That might be the book! The Yakuza Vampires of Vikipa. Write this down. What? Oh, I'm doing better than writing it down. I'm already making some sketches. I think it's the best idea you've had all week, Cody. Didn't you say you knew some Hollywood agent in LA? Yeah, and once we write this, there's no way they can ignore it. Vampires are all their age. Or they were. We can bring them back. They certainly have a hell of an imagination. Take it from me, this city has a lot of strange things that happen in real life too. Trust me. You start asking around and you'll get- You'll be surprised what people tell you. That was a bit of a bad idea. I don't want to all the cigarettes. Oh, oh she's cute. It's a cuteness. She might not know anything. Hi, sorry to bother you. I'm Miami. What's your name? Hmm? I'm Monica. Whatever you want, make it quick. I'm kind of waiting for someone, so. All right, I'll cut to the chase. Can you tell me anything about this photo? Ugh, what decade is this dra is that dress from? Wait, well sticks? Uh oh, this isn't some idol thing, is it? If you're from some modeling agency or whatever, I'll tell you right now, there's no way I'll wear that kind of gothic Lolita stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Although it's kind of weird, uh, sure. No, nothing like that. I'm an investigator of sorts. I'm less interested in the fashion and more about the girl herself. How should I know? Idol stuff is so boring. Hey, are you like the investigators on TV? Did that girl cheat with some guy's wife or something? That's so exciting! You know what you should do? You should totally ask the, co the collector about that photo. 
What kind of collector? No, the collector. It's like a name he gives himself. Guy knows everything there is to know around here. My friend Akane told me about it. If that girl's an FD Abra, I bet he knows about it. What, is this guy an expert on idols or something? No, weren't you listening? Like I said, he knows everything. Which shops are employing foreigners illegally who's buried in their rent? Hep hoot. Who even knows which capsule machines have the rare stuff? At least that's what I heard. No offense, but why should some high school girl need information like that? Well, that's... it's complicated. Akari works around here part-time and there was a customer who used to come in and kind of obsess over her, you know? A real creep. Before long, he was following her home. She complained, but her boss wouldn't believe her, so Akane asked the collector to give her something to make the weird go away. And did he? Sure did. He gave her a photo of the guy that she mailed to the creep's wife. Let's just say it was incriminating. How do you get out of it, Miss Collector? Why don't you ask Akane yourself? She's out with someone right now, but she should be back any minute. Thanks, Moika. I might just do that. For a high school girl, you sure... Charles speaks easy, it seems. However, she's already gave me all the info she has. I'll come back soon. I'll, I'll go uh, check another building or something at first. Then yeah. <laughs>